This is the video adapters, hoses, and tips. We're going to give you some special tips to help make using your washer roller an easy and enjoyable experience and so that you can get the most out of it. Now if you have a laundry tub, um, you need to have a male uh, garden hose thread on the end of your laundry tub. Uh, most have these, but if they don't, you're going to need an adapter. The adapter will convert that to the standard garden hose thread. These adapters come in plastic, they come in metal, and they're readily available at your hardware store or your home improvement center. You have to have that converted. These will also, in most cases, convert most kitchen sinks so that you can use it in your kitchen sink. Now, let's talk about hoses. Uh, some people have a small kitchen sink or a small laundry tub and they want to use a hose to attach it to the sink and then loop it around, hook your washer roller up to it, makes it a little bit easier to use. Take your washer roller with you to the hardware store or the home improvement center. Tell the sales associate that you need a three foot, have them make a three foot hose for you. You either need some clear plastic tubing like this or garden hose if they sell it by the foot a male adapter, a female adapter, and you've got a great little hose. Um, some stores actually sell a three or four foot utility hose, which is great because everything's done for you and you're out the door. Now, the reason that we don't include these adapters and these hoses with our product is that the vast majority of homes have a laundry tub with the garden hose thread already on it. So we don't want people to pay any more than they have to. Most people don't need these things. We're making this video just if you happen to be one of the few that don't, this is how you solve these little minor problems. Now if you're going to use your garden hose, I highly recommend that you get one of these plastic or metal on off valves. These are great. What you do with it is before you start painting, go out to the end of your garden hose and attach this to it. Make sure it's turned off and then turn the water on to your hose. Pull the hose out into your yard. The sun beats on it for a couple hours while you're painting. When you're done painting and you want to clean your roller, you can just attach this to it. When you turn the water on, now you have a ready supply of very warm water, which makes it clean easier. It also works good, too, if you put a couple of tablespoons of liquid dishwashing soap in the top before you hook it up to any of the products. The liquid soap uh, gives you a cleaner roller. Now, if you're going to use a garden hose, don't worry about your grass. If you've got a good, healthy grass lawn, it won't hurt your grass. It'll just disappear and you won't even see it. But if you should happen to have gravel or dirt or something other than grass that you, that you don't want the paint to stain, the other thing you can do is to just shoot the whole thing into a five gallon bucket and then that'll clean it. It's more than enough to hold the paint that you and, and the water that you're going to use. And that'll be all you'll need to solve that problem. Cleaning paint rollers has never been easier. I thank you for your time.